All right, so question number two reads, uh, find the slope of the tangent line to the parabola y equals 4x squared, 4x minus x squared at the point zero 0,1, and find the equation of this tangent line, and then graph the parabola and the tangent line. All right. So a tangent line is basically a line equation that uh, touches our function at only one point. So how this works is that we need to calculate the derivative at points 0 and 1, and the point 0 at 1 will be the slope of our line equation. OK? So we're going to use uh, the second definition. So last time I stated the first definition, and the first definition was um, here. The derivative at point f of x, uh, at point x, is the limit of, as h approaches 0, of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So this time we're going to use the second definition. The junior tutor posted both uh, definitions here, but we're just going to use the second definition. And it is a common known fact that the slope of the line or the tangent line at this point is uh, equivalent to the limit as um, that what, one and three. Okay, so I'm going to use point one and three here, not zero and one. Um, the question has a typo in there. Uh, so we're going to calculate the limit as x approaches one of f of x minus f of one divided by x minus one, okay? So this is the other limit definition and we're going to use this to calculate our slope, okay? So the limit as x approaches one uh, of four x minus x squared minus four minus one squared, okay? I don't know why there's an i there. Oh, there's either <laughs> uh, of x minus one. Okay, so the limit of this, as if we simplify this, we are going to get four x minus x squared um, minus three divided by x minus one. Okay. Uh, so if we plug x minus 1 in here, we would have a 0 at the bottom. So we're going to try to factor this top and try to see if we can simplify our expression here, OK? Also, why am I doing this in red? Uh, so if we factor the top out here, uh, we have negative x squared plus 4x minus 3. So this is my side work here. I'm just going to factor this. Uh, this is going to be negative 1 and 1. Cross multiply this together and we get uh, three plus one, which is four. So we have our um, so we have our factors here. Let me just check to make sure this is correct here. Um, yeah, this is correct. Okay, right, so that means that this is equal to limit of one of uh, negative x plus one times x minus three over x minus one. And this is equal to the limit of x approaches one of three minus x, because these are canceled out, but the, we just factored out a negative here. And by factoring out a negative here, we can cancel these two factors out. And then we just apply a negative sign to this term here. And if we plug in one now, we get two. So the slope of the line, tangent line at one and three is two, okay? So now that we have found the slope of the tangent line, we can plug it into our equation here. Um, so I'm gonna switch to black now. Um, so part B asks us to find the tangent line, uh, the equation of the tangent line. So we're gonna use a slope uh, point formula here. So the slope point formula is y of f minus a equals uh, the slope or f prime of a at x and minus a, okay? So we plug that in, we plug in all of them. So y minus three is equal to the slope times x minus the x coordinate of one and three. And if we isolate for y, we got y equals two x plus 
1. 2x minus 2 plus 3, 2x plus 1. Okay, and finally, if we were to graph this uh, parabola, so we see our, that our parabola has a negative coefficient of a. So the leading term has a negative um, coefficient. So that means uh, it's facing downwards. So it's uh, it, it's concave down. And the tangent point, uh, the line of the equation is tangent to our point on the uh, parabola 1 and 3. So you see here that the junior tutor drew the line that's tangent to 1 and 3 on the parabola. And they added the specific um, slope of the line, which is 2. And by doing so, we have found the line equation that is tangent to the parabola by finding its derivative at the point 1 and 3. OK. So last, last, last time again, so the tangent line is a line that is uh, intersecting the function at only one point. OK. And so it's basically tangent or it's touching the graph, basically. And by finding, we found the slope by finding the derivative at the parabola at 1 and 3 and then plugging it into our line equation. So we know that the, the line has a slope of 2, and we also know that it touches the graph at 1 and 3. So by doing so, we find the line equation, which is y equals 2x plus 1. Okay. So other than that, the solution is correct. Good work. Okay. Uh, sorry, give me a minute. I'm just going to...